The Ansible project demonstrates a prototype virtual world that astronauts on long-duration spaceflight missions can use as a psychological home away from home. Ansible provides activities that serve as ways to escape the confines of the spacecraft, explore new forms of interaction, and stay in intimate contact with family and friends back on Earth. The communication delays native to long-duration space missions make traditional connections such as real-time video conferencing impossible. Email and other asynchronous communications remain available, but adding a rich three-dimensional environment gives astronauts the opportunity to spend some time in the same space as their loved ones while on their voyage, even if not at the same time. The keystone of the Ansible virtual world is called the FAMCOM, or Family Communication Center. At the center of the FAMCOM is a large hall showcasing the phases of the moon, with its current phase back on Earth indicated by a gentle glow. Above the moon is a model of the sun and terrestrial planets, showing the trajectory of the astronaut spacecraft on its way toward Mars. The red line indicates their progress along the journey. There are several activity rooms within the FAMCOM, all designed to reinforce a connection to home and Earth. The library is a space for relaxing, playing the virtual piano, or an ongoing game of chess with a family member. Or one can visit the art gallery, with its regularly changing exhibits of artwork. The club is where the astronauts can sit amongst other avatars. These are programmed AI agents that can engage in small talk and act as an interactive audience for stand-up comics or video shows. They can also fill the dance floor when the club turns into a disco. In the post office, astronauts can pick up a 3D file from home for printing on board, or they can play a specially created two-player game with a family member back on Earth which has been designed to elicit positive shared memories. The Earthlinks room provides the latest in Earthside weather, recent snapshots via Google Maps, a skylight linked to changing weather patterns, and a recent video of an Earth-based weather event. An astronaut doesn't have to stay in the FAMCOM. There are other interesting places within the expanse of the virtual world. For example, they can choose an interesting vacation from a range of virtual destinations in the vacation room, take part in a historical recreation, dive a coral reef, or enjoy a quiet evening in a small town on a front porch at sunset. All are possible. Through one door of the FAMCOM is the amphitheater, where presentations from Earth can be uploaded to the video screens and enjoyed on demand. Another door leads to nature walks, virtual campsites, and serene rocky shores. The last door leads to the meditation center, where classes and mindfulness can be accessed via recorded sessions. There is beautiful landscaping and a Zen garden for strolling. Also within the FAMCOM, astronauts are able to access private areas in the Ansible world designed for family interactions, which can be reached by clicking on one of the signs to teleport to a private region. Crew and family can design these areas to resemble their own homes, or one of imagination. This space is an example, with a living room, kitchen, dining, and family rooms, as well as a garden area. All of the items, as well as the rooms themselves, can be selected from one of the three available malls that are stocked with a variety of merchandise. Special events, such as a shared virtual Thanksgiving dinner, can be held in the private home spaces. While a real-time dinner is not actually possible, a metaphorical dinner can be held asynchronously, with each family member visiting the space and leaving a note about what they are thankful for that others can enjoy later. This type of activity can help reinforce the emotional ties between family members even while they are separated for many months. We have based the offerings within Ansible on scientific research that indicates the psychological value these forms of activities have for people. We believe they will also serve in their virtual form to enhance the astronauts' experience on long-duration space voyages, allowing them to remain better connected to their loved ones, expand their perceived space through the expanse of the virtual world, and provide them enjoyable activities for their discretionary time. Our next phase of work will utilize the virtual world space as part of a NASA analog mission to see if the activities we have planned can surmount the communication delays while providing social and family connections that are meaningful and psychologically beneficial.